For those that don't know, which I'm sure many of you do, I'm Joe Thomas. I'm a January 6th defendant, and uh, I am so honored and, and, and just pleased to be able to be here to share a little bit of, of my story and what's going on uh, with all of you. Back in early July 2021, I started the Sing for Freedom campaign, and that's all because of the inspiration that the gentlemen inside the DC jail had shown one another. Richard Big O Barnett one day decided to snub his nose at the establishment and sing the national anthem while walking down the hallway very loudly. And that was motivating to all of the men inside. So they began to sing it with one another from behind their steel doors. And it helped them to unify with one another as they sat in solitary confinement. They didn't know one another. They didn't know anything outside was happening. All they knew is that they were isolated, set away, forgotten about. And at that point, nobody was talking about them. Nobody was reporting on them. Nobody was fighting for them. They were losing hope. And Richard Barnett took that opportunity to just show some patriotic love and it unified them with one another and that was in i believe may late may maybe early june of 2021 eventually a recording of them singing together got out from the jail and it was told that it became a nightly routine it started at several different times but eventually it solidified itself at 9 p.m. Eastern every single night. In early July, when I first heard the recording that got out of the jail, that moved me. Because in May of 21, when I was arrested by an FBI counterterrorism SWAT team for my presence at the Capitol, I was awarded bond. Maybe I felt a little guilty. I don't know. I had no idea why I was released and they were sitting behind bars, but I had known that their conditions were absolutely horrible. And so I prayed and I said, God, I cannot thank you enough for the freedom that I've been given to still take care of my family, but what can I do? You've given me this gift for a reason. And it was literally like a two days later that I heard that recording. And then God spoke to my heart again and he said, this is it. So I said, fine, I'm going to go and I'm going to sing with them every night. And I'd go out on my porch and I would sing the national anthem loud and proud at 9 p.m. My neighbor came over and asked me one day, she says, what in the heck are you doing? Are you practicing for a ball game or something? And, you know, I laughed and I was like, no. And then I told her the story. The sheer look of horror that came over her face said it all. So there I've stood in the middle of the road, well, my driveway, actually, as she left. And I'm like, great, my neighbor now thinks I'm a terrorist. But that didn't stop me. I kept going out on my porch every single night, and I would sing the anthem. I hadn't started recording it yet. And a couple of days after I kept doing that, I heard her with her young child singing from their front porch as well. And that moved me almost to tears. To know that somebody in the real world cares. To know that somebody out there understands that I am not the bad person that the, that the news and the media try to make us out to be. And something said to me that I wanted the guys inside to know that they're not alone. To know that someone out here cares. And so I started recording it and I have some chat rooms and stuff that I do online. And so I started to ask people to send in videos of them singing the anthem. It was because of the patriotic love of the guys in the jail, even though it is this nation that is persecuting them, that has inspired a movement that over the last two and a half years has grown to what it is today. We get videos sent to us of people singing the American national anthem from all over our country and other countries as well. London, Ecuador, Japan, you name it. It's interrupted Trump at a couple of his rallies. 
He even created the Justice for All song as kind of a way to participate and to give a light to what they've been doing in jail. They do it nightly at the vigil and have been for, I mean, like maybe what's a year and a half now, something like that. We built a website to help bring awareness to what's available for people to get involved in, different groups, ways to go to their give, send, goes and help them out financially. And many of the people that you've heard speaking today are highlighted on that website as those that we can go to, to get these men and women help, to make effective change. And I'm not taking away from anything that they're doing, but Sing for Freedom and the impact that it has started with just one slack-jawed yokel from the hills of West Virginia saying, you know what? I'm going to stand up and do something small. And I'm not a good singer. So it just shows that even the smallest act of kindness or love and unity can make a huge difference. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming